Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and it is yet again time for another dating video with beauty brands. Yay! Woo! I don't know, just just go with it, all right? Just just humor me, okay? Just just let me feel like I'm doing something, all right? So, in this series, we talk about beauty brands as if they are people we would date or people that we're in relationships with. And I have a full playlist down below that I will link for you to check out other videos in this series. But in this video, we are talking about brands that are just, ugh, I am so out of their league. Like, excuse, oh, ew, I would never. I could, ugh, you know? <laughs> no, okay, stop. You know, you know, come on now. You know there's certain people that may approach you in public and you're just like, sir, really? No, ma'am, no. What, what made you even think that I would even engage with you, that I would accept your approach? Like, get away, oh my God. Like, if a dude comes up to me with his pants sagging all the way under his ass, I'd be like, Sir, mm -mm. go, what? Excuse, no, mm -mm. what if he has one tooth in the front of his mouth? No, come on now. I know we're not supposed to be judgmental, but you know there are certain people that you just like, oh, I, I am out of your league. You shouldn't even have come up to me. You got some nerve. And on the flip side, there's some people that you think are probably out of your league. And I have just two of those here. One is like so, so maybe out of my league, but one is definitely out of my league, girl. But you know those people that you just, like I could never snag a prince or a oil tycoon or a multi-billionaire. Like me, Tina, nah, I talk back. Like it ain't even got nothing to do with how I look or whatever. I talk back and I'm fresh. So you ain't gonna talk to me any kind of way. And I know men with money think they could talk to you any kind of way and deal with you any kind of way. You got me all the way messed up. Uh-uh. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the brands that I think that I am way out of their league. Like I am so beyond that. Like I am above and beyond them right now. Like, ew. And that's not to say that you guys, if you are into these brands, if you love these brands, this is not a dig at you, okay? This is not a dig at you at all. Like, love who you love, love the brands you love. I'm just saying, I'm out of their league, girl. And a couple that they're out of my league. So, let's go ahead and start out with number one, For Sally. I know, I mentioned this brand in my swipe left video, but this one is also a brand that I'm out of their league. Like, ugh. They are an Instagram famous brand and they got famous because of those drippy products and it's complete gimmick and the formulations aren't even like high quality skincare, they're simply a gimmick. And I've heard a couple of things here or there about some of their products, but nothing stellar and I'm just like, mm, you're an Instagram brand, like, ugh. Girls drip that on their face. This is, <laughs> all right. To me, this brand is like that kinky guy that is into things that I just, I'm not interested in, like whips and chains and threesomes, like, I, 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 I'm not, I no, we're not doing that. You can do that by yourself, so I am completely out of this brand's league. <laughs> Next up is an old school YouTube brand, and I've been so out of this brand's league even when I just started out in makeup, and I know tons of people used to love this brand, Coastal Sense. Oh my god, do you guys remember Coastal Sense? So back in the day when people just started out on YouTube, we wanted to get makeup where we could try all the colors and all the finishes and all the things, but for cheap, right? So we had these 120 eyeshadow palettes. Yes, you heard me right. I bought mine off of eBay. Listen, it was $15. I remember it clear as day and it had two sides and it was a lot of eyeshadows and they were beautiful, all right? They probably were a little bit poisonous, but it's fine, okay? But Coastal Sense was one of those brands that had those 120 eyeshadow palettes. They had the 72 eyeshadow palettes and they had hot pots. Like they came out with the hot pots which are single eyeshadows way later, like down the line. They also had eyeshadow brushes. So remember when we used to buy eyeshadow sets with like the 15 brushes in one in a brush roll and it was like $20 and you were like, oh yeah, this is a steal. This is so awesome. Since then, girl, I am into Fude. Like, ew, Coastal Sense. Ah, 
No, if I'm buying singles, I'm buying from Cindy Grace, honey. Please, give me some Lethal Cosmetics. Give me some JD Glow. Ew, Coastal Scents Hot Pots? Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, you couldn't pay me to wear that foolishness. So, <laughs> I think, yeah, I'm out of this brand's league. But not for nothing, I've heard some good things about their hot pots. Not gonna lie, I just always, every time I see them, I just think of them as dollar store makeup. Like... Or is this no we're not we're not mm -mm, we're not doing this so out of your league Bye. all right this next brand is also kind of an old-school favorite it's been around for a while it's really inexpensive hard candy oh my god so I remember this brand having was it a concealer that people went crazy about I forget but I see them in Walmart all the time and it just looks like kids makeup like children's makeup and Come, I'm grown, okay? I ain't got time to be playing in the sandbox, all right? Your jungle gym is not for me. It's just so childish. The packaging looks cheap. It just looks like cheap Claire's makeup. And I could never bring myself to buy a hard candy product. And I think they're in Target too. Are they in Target? Are they? I think so. I saw them in Walmart. But my whole thing is like, oh, this, this brand, okay. It's too childish, it's too cheap, it's too generic, it's too plasticky, it's too toxic. I, you just smell the, the plastic fumes coming off of it. And I'm like, I, I, I could never, I could never. So, so out of their league. <laughs> I seem to be hitting all the little cheapy brands and it makes sense, right? I'm so out of their league. So the next one up is LA Colors. Ah, uh, ah, uh, LA Colors? Mm, even LA Girl was pushing it, but LA Colors, for real though, LA Colors is similar to Hard Candy. Cheap, cheap child makeup. Like, it looks like something I would give my niece to play in, okay? You want something to break and smash and rub on your face, sweetie? Here you go, like... Why would I, as a grown-ass woman, like, really pick up this little pop candy looking makeup? Like, for real though, for real, for real. I'm not saying they don't have great products. They probably have some stellar things over there, but I'll never know, because I'm not going out with them. I'm not here for it. I don't want to know nothing about them. Like, no, ooh, mm -mm. So we're not messing with LA Colors at all. And even the name, like, you see the font with the, the actual logo? It looks so cheap. Tell me it doesn't look cheap. It's like Claire's makeup. Come on now. You know what? This one, I'm just going to be upfront real with you guys. Dragon Beauty. This is from, what's her face? Jeffree Star's ex-friend, Nikita Dragon. Nikita Dragon. She is so tacky, so controversial. Like, she does the most for attention. And it's just like, I could never, ever pull out any of her products and be like, yeah, I'm using this lipstick from Dragon Beauty. No, ma'am. No, no. Like, it, no, you're so far beyond. No, you do the most. You blackfish, like, you race bait. You do... I can't okay she's just no no I'm not playing that game okay so Dragon Beauty definitely I'm um, out of there if you ever see no I would never I can't even say if you ever I will never ever pick up anything from Dragon Beauty like beyond the actual founder like the cosmetics I'm just like did you see the packaging of her face is it a face palette where she had the mold of her face like why are these people doing this? Like, how narcissistic can you be that you're just plastering your image on your products? Like, mm-mm. Kylie Cosmetics just did that recently, too, with, was it her birthday collection? What collection is that with the leopard print? That is so tacky. Like, she's in a cat suit. On, ugh, I don't want a palette with Kylie Cosmetics on it. Ew. So, Dragon Beauty is just... It's just not my aesthetic. It's not my thing. It's not my jam. And I don't mind an influencer brand. I don't mind a celebrity brand. But this one is just tacky. It's I can't do it. I could never, okay? Now, Kylie Cosmetics, since we mentioned them, they were already in my We Broke Up video, which I, I linked down below so you can check it out. I broke up with Kylie Cosmetics, but now I'm definitely out of their league. Like, they made the packaging so tacky, it's now all about narcissism and look at me, look at my surgified body and I'm like, no ma'am, no, I don't want it. Get away from me. It's so, can you imagine me pulling out a Kylie Cosmetics palette right now with her ass cocked up on my palette? No, what? Are you fucking kidding? No, I, what? No, mm-mm, mm-mm. I am so out of her league. <laughs> Speaking of narcissistic brands and brands that are just tacky as hell, 
Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I am so far out of Jeffree Star Cosmetics League, it's not even funny. Like, he's racist, he's sexist, he's just an all-around nasty person. Are there some good things that he's done for the community and done for others? Of course, you know? People are not all bad or all good, but, but all the negative things about him are enough for me to psh, wash my hands clean of that brand. Plus, he's also doing the tacky ass packaging. Did you see the Orgy palette? What in the name of God was this? Why is, oh, it was so gross. The, this is on the packaging. Are you, what? <laughs> I cannot, I can't, I, I, what is going on, okay? Why do I need to be exposed to this? Even the nude, pa was there a nude, pa there was a nude palette, right? There was a cremated, wasn't there a nude? There was a nude, right, where he was pretty much nude on the palette? What, what, you know what? I, out of, out of their league, just never, ever, ever gonna happen. <laughs> All right, now for this brand, this is a throwback brand, and I wonder if you guys remember this brand from back in the day, Bitch Slap Cosmetics. You guys are like, who, what, where? So before Priscilla Ono met Rihanna and became the global makeup artist for Fenty Beauty, she and some of her fellow makeup artist friends had created their own brand, Scandalous Beauty. Do you guys remember that? The eyeshadow primer was like a really sticky white eyeshadow primer and it would make colors pop like crazy. And they sold out of those and they also had their single eyeshadows. But that's not the brand we're talking about. One of her friends had branched off. They had this big falling out. It was a whole to-do, okay? This was before drama channels were alive and well, but we still had drama back in the day. So they had a falling out, but one of the co-founders had branched off and made Bitch Slap Cosmetics. And for a while, it was just private label makeup. They would have the color wheels. They had like little eyeshadow singles. They had various products under the brand. But since then, the brand has become the tackiest thing I've ever seen in my life. They literally have penis lipsticks. What? Oh my god! And then the owner, like, she is really out there, okay? She has vagina things too. Oh my god, let me see what the vagina things are. Oh my god, there's a highlighter called Coochie Glow with vagina li Oh my god! <laughs> I am all about being free with your sexuality and all of that. What the hell would I look like taking out a penis shaped lipstick and applying it? Where, when I can't apply it on camera because you probably chased me off of YouTube and I definitely ain't applying it in public so what am I just gonna apply this in secret? What? I mean I understand like using it for bachelorette parties. You know how you, you, you listen you have the sex parties and you have those kinds of lipsticks but what? And then she has the vag palette. <laughs> I can't, and then she has breasts on the boob job pink, cock, what, cock block midnight chalk. I don't even know what is going on with these names, oh my god, boob job booty call, vag bronze, vag pink, vag purple and vag white, you know what? You know what, Jesus Lord, have mercy on my soul. No, no, and I'm no prude. I am no prude. Like, tell me all your sex stories. I'm out, I'm like, let, well, tell me more. This is so tacky, I could never, I could never. So I am definitely way out of there. Uh-uh. <laughs> you know what, after reading all of those vag and penis things, I just can't deal with it. So we're gonna move on to something that's a little bit more lighthearted, glam light. I know, I, listen, you would think, right? You would think that Glam Light and me would be like on the same team because they're colorful, they're bright, they're bold, and like, it's right up my alley, right? But have you seen the packaging? What? It is so gaudy, so big and ugly, like that taco palette, that pizza palette. What? They even did a cake, pa the cake palette. Oh my God, I could never. I could never, and I'm not knocking you if you have the products, okay? I'm just saying, I could never, I just, I am not, I, listen, I like a bold, colorful palette, you know? I like a little bit cutesy, like, extra things, but those palettes, those shapes, what I look like, what do I look like, big and grown as I am, taking up a freaking cupcake palette, being like, oh yeah, I would feel so silly. 
I really would feel silly. And I understand that people still want to be cutesy and, you know, age doesn't affect anything. However, you're not going to catch me with a palette like I I couldn't I can't I cannot do it. Packaging for me needs to be sleek and sexy. I don't do this gaudy foolishness. I could Lord have mercy. I know a lot of people love this brand, but <laughs> Woo, I, no ma'am, mm -mm, I am so out of their league. You know what, these next three brands, I'm just gonna lump together because it's the same thing. I would say the same thing about all three. So, JCat Beauty, Profusion, and Lottie London. I, <laughs> I, I want to, like, I'm like, sometimes I go into Walmart, I go into Harmons, I see them, and I'm like, almost, like, almost, but, Every time I see the cheap packaging, I can't see this cheap packaging and really bring myself to pick them up. And they're not even expensive, right? But I'm just looking at them like, do I re- mm, 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 I, mm, I don't want to be seen outside with them. I don't want anybody to know that I know them. You ever met somebody that they know your name like you told them your name and then you're out in public and they're like yelling it across the street? I do not want people to think I know this per- Who? T -t Tina? Oh, you know what? Let me walk faster because I don't want nobody to... What? Stop it. And I'm not saying I'm better than people. Don't get me wrong. I'm not better than people, okay? But there are just certain people you're just like, Sir, sir, do not... Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't be doing that. No. You're... No. You ain't gonna have me out here looking crazy. What? These three brands to me just scream again. Children's makeup. Play makeup. Dollar store makeup. Not that there's you know what yeah there's something wrong with dollar store makeup you don't know what the hell is in those products okay there could be lead in there and you have no rat feces probably and you're over here like mm, let me get some of these products no the, the child labor and the sweatshops that are being used to make this makeup i i just no you just see it, it reeks of like exploitation and i can't i just i can't do it i can't do it so these three brands jcat perfusion and lottie london no, I'm not, I'm not doing, no, I can't do it. And you know what? I almost want to throw Catrice in here too, but you know, Catrice is still, I think I have an eyeshadow or two from them, but even still, they still give me that vibe, you know? So I'm going to toss them in as well. So those four brands, no, cut out of their league. All right, I'm going to stop bad mouthing these brands, okay? Because, you know, there are probably some great products over there. And if you love them, it's okay, we can still be friends, all right? But I'm out of their league, so you know, whatever. But here are a couple of brands that I think are out of my league. Like, I could ne I could never, I will never, who, what? The first one I'm gonna mention is, yeah, it's out of my league because of the price point and just what you get, and it's just too bougie for me. Louboutin. Now, I have Louboutin shoes, like, it's fine. Like, I'll rock a red bottom. You catch me out here, what? But their makeup, ma'am, ma'am, no, absolutely not. You are so out of my league. Like, guys, look at this packaging. Look at all, it's so gaudy and so opulent and so expensive. Like, a lipstick, a velvet matte lip color is $90. Who? $90 for one lipstick? No, Bridget! These are even more expensive than Tom Ford lipsticks, and that's pushing it for me. Like, Tom Ford got some nerve, but Louboutin, Christian Louboutin, decided that $90 is what they're gonna charge for their lipstick. And this packaging, child, like, if you pull this out outside, you know you bougie, you extra, you out here. I would never, would never. They are so out of my league, like, what? Catch me outside in a, no, ma'am! And then the, what is this? $70, is this a, a beauty lip oil? Look at this, extravagance. It's gaudy as hell, and it's big and bulky, but it's so extra. The nail polish is $50 for a red nail polish. You can't imagine me wearing a red nail, I don't even wear a red nail polish, grabbing a Louboutin red nail polish for $50. Did you see that long, no, do you see the long thing for the, mm -mm, for the brush? Girl, what? And that's like one of the cheapest things. Then they have this metallic eye color thing. What is this, liquid eyeshadow? Look at this packaging. What in the world? Like, it's so 
it's it's too much it's too much i could never i could never i they're so way out of my league i would never even attempt you can't imagine i'll buy the shoes listen i will rock a red bottom they uncomfortable as hell though not not gonna lie but they look so sexy on the feet like my sexiest shoes have got to be my louboutins but them at your foot bad my feet always hurt it's not even funny but I love them. Like, if I need a sexy, sassy shoe, I'm pulling it out. But this, the makeup, ooh, no, 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 no. They are way out of my league. So absolutely not. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Cannot do it. But I don't like the packaging either because it's just too, it's too gaudy for me. Like, I could never. <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up with this brand, which you've probably seen making its rounds on YouTube. Some of my faves have a lot of products from them because they're sent to them. I know a couple of them purchase items here or there, but the majority of them are bought. And I only ever see this brand when they send people new collections. And I'm like, is there a reason for that? Like, no one is really buying these out of their own pocket. Like, they're getting it as PR because it is so pricey and extravagant. Siage. House of Siage. Oh my god. Have you seen these lipstick cases? talk about opulent these are fancy like ceramic are they ceramic i think they're ceramic lipstick cases with embellishments and swarovski crystals and i'm like girl what are you doing to me gorgeous okay i would buy this over the louboutin the louboutin you know what but that little snake thing from Lou we're not talking about it okay we're not getting it However, this House of Siage, I could see myself getting one of these as a collector's piece, but then how much are they? Like $200? Ma'am, $200 for what? Women look like, hello? So they're basic lipstick cases. So they have the little bow lipstick cases are $198. Shut your face. There is a black and white checkered one that is, what, $225? Like they're special edition ones. Are you nuts? The colorful ones are also $198, but these are just the cases. You didn't even get the lipstick yet. These are just the cases to put the lipstick in. So first of all, you're buying a case for $200, and then the actual lipstick refills are $35. So you're telling me that I am going to buy a lipstick with a case for $235, who are you talking to? Ma'am, ma'am, absolutely not. Then you gonna put tax on top of that? So you're telling me that I am buying a $250, $250 lipstick for what? For what? I cannot even. And then they have limited edition ones that are $250, $225, $295. lipstick to put in said case who you talk to who is also siage talking to are you not let me see how much for them lip balm the lip balm okay the refills are still yay so you still have to buy a case the refills are 35 dollars are you crazy okay and they really started out as a fragrance brand so their fragrances look upon the fragrances $395 for the Wonder Woman limited edition, but then they have $1,210, $1,210 for the Benevolence limited edition perfume. Pardon me, the holiday perfume was $710 and that's on the cheap side. And then I saw them send out this tiara one, which was a limited edition one to a bunch of channels. And I never saw one average person buy this, okay? This was all PR. $1,210 for this tiara. Up. What the box side? Huh? Who, what, and why? When would this ever, uh, when would I ever feel comfortable paying these prices for these products? For a lipstick? You can send me a put on a $250 lipstick. I really tell you, so it's worth it. Absolutely freaking not. I can't. I I absolutely could never and I am not gonna buy a lipstick case for two hundred two hundred dollars to for, for, who am I showing off to who am I showing off to for real though for real real like I'm gonna be like look at my house of Siage lipstick ah uh, yeah who who what you know what <laughs> you know what house of Siage has turned me into an owl and I cannot
I cannot. So they are definitely way out of my, like way out of my league, okay? <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Those are the brands that I am so out of their league and a couple of that, they're out of my league because girl, mm-mm, mm-mm, I ain't got it. I, I can't do it. I could never, okay? So let me know what brands you just think are out of your league or brands that you are out of their league. Like, ugh, you would never like, Ew, LA colors? No, ma'am. Like, you wouldn't be caught dead going on a date with them. Like, you wouldn't buy their products and apply it to your skin. Like, uh, no, it's so beneath you. <laughs> now, again, I'm not making fun of anybody that loves these brands. If you like these brands, that's great. I love it if you love it, okay? And I'm sure some of these brands have some good products. Otherwise, they wouldn't be around for as long as they've been around, right? Because some of these brands have been around for a minute. So, I'm not saying they have bad products it's just their vibe their aesthetic and when I see them I'm just like I am mm -mm, I am above this I cannot okay so it's nothing against any of you that enjoy these brands okay cuz I'm sure there are a couple of brands that I probably use that you're probably like oh I'm so out of their league so we're just having some fun with this guys let me know what brands you think are out of your league or that you're out of their league so I'm gonna go ahead and leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you can follow me along along with the playlist down below where you can check out other videos in this series and until my next video which will be very soon I'll talk to you bye guys